Like many collectors, I've ended up with a lot of treadle machines without their treadle bases. Hand crank attachments can't be found for most of them, and it would be too expensive to buy and mount motors on them. Consequently, they don't get used much. The solution is to build a single motorized base onto which any machine can be placed and driven. This one's built out of scraps and old parts. The base is large enough to accommodate any size machine. The motor and foot controller are left over from another project. If you don't happen to have one of these on hand, they're commonly available from sewing machine repair shops at low cost. The spring belt has enough stretch to fit a wide range of machines. The location of the motor isn't critical since the machine can be moved around to line up its pulley with the motor's pulley. Whether a machine has feet so it's freestanding, or has a decorative display base, it can be easily placed on the motorized base and made to run. Machines without feet or bases can be supported upright with wood shims covered with rubber pads. Most treadle machines are designed to run with the main wheel rotating with the top moving forward. Some other machines need to be driven in the opposite direction. The easiest way to accommodate them is to put a half twist in the spring belt. It runs a little noisier but it solves the problem very easily. This motorized base is quick, easy, and cheap to build. Best of all, it enables me to use dozens of machines that would otherwise just sit on a shelf and collect dust, even non-treadle machines. So, if you have some sewing machine treadle heads that aren't being used, try making one of these motorized bases, and I think you'll discover how much fun they can be to sew on. Thanks for watching.